This is an iZip electric bicycle. It was built about 10 years ago and because the lead acid batteries died, someone threw it away. I'm going to show you how I made a lithium ion replacement pack and got this thing back on the road. Like many early e-bikes, this bike came with sealed lead acid batteries. The maximum speed was 15 miles per hour and you could go about 15 to 20 miles. These are the replacement cells you can buy on eBay. As you can see, they're not cheap and really you're not getting the best performance out of lead acid anymore. This is what I came up with. A 24 volt lithium ion battery pack. These are lithium ion pouch cells. They're about 8 to 9 amp hours a piece with a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts. We're going to use seven of them to get ourselves to the 24 volts that the system for this e-bike requires. The best part is they can be had on eBay for about three and a half to four dollars a piece. The first thing we did after receiving these batteries was to put them on the voltmeter. Ideally they should measure between about three and a half and four volts. With these pouch cells, they come uh, with aluminum uh, conductors on the ends, which are extremely difficult to solder to. The best thing to use is a uh, spot welder, but we don't have one. So we tried riveting them together, and you can see uh, here the damage we did, and that didn't work. It didn't hold the contacts close enough together. So I decided to drill holes, and I'm going to drill holes in these uh, aluminum plates and I'm going to bolt the cells together. Now, as we've got the first one connected, we can check the cell voltage to make sure that uh, that connection is good. There's our pack roughly put together. Let's see what we got voltage wise. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's seven S litho pack. Needs to be charged, and we're going to put a BMS on this, but it's basically ready. I'm going to try one of these cheap BMSs off of Amazon. They're only about fifteen dollars. I'm not sure how good it'll be, but we'll give it a try and see how it goes.
I'm building a box to protect the batteries and to allow them to be mounted securely onto the bike. The bike already came with this really solid rack that the original batteries mounted on and they connected at the bottom here to these two conductors. I'm going to remove this and reroute the power connector to the top and my batteries will slot right in. Thank <laughs> you. 